Hello and welcome back. In this video I'll be showing you six of my favourite free add-ons for Blender 2.8. The first one is the Images as Planes add-on. This one allows you to just press Shift A, Image, then Images as Planes, and choose any image you would like to be imported as a mesh. You can modify this mesh just as you would a normal plane, and it has a pre-made material that will work with cycles and EV. The second add-on is called Loop Tools. I would consider this an essential add-on for modelling, and it gives you lots of advanced edit mode techniques. The most useful to me are the circle function, which will turn any subdivided mesh into a circle, and the bridge function, which will join any two surfaces with a bridge of faces. The third add-on needs to be downloaded from the website. It's called Denoise and is made by Remington. Once the zip file finishes downloading, you can go to Install and then choose the file and click Install from File. Now under the View Layer tab, you can scroll down to check Denoise AI Denoiser. This will apply AI denoising to your renders automatically, and to demonstrate I'll make a render with only two samples, and you'll see this very noisy image gets turned into a lovely smooth image in far less time than it would have taken to up the samples. The fourth add-on is called ANT Landscape and it allows you to create a plain landscape with a single click. There are so many parameters that there are infinite variations of landscapes you can create, so just play around until you make one you're happy with. The fifth add-on is called Sapling Tree Gen. This allows you to very easily create a tree as a curve. There are again many different parameters, and it can even generate leaves automatically. Once you're happy with the shape, you can convert it into a mesh and then give the leaves and trunk their own materials for a quick and easy tree model. The final add-on is called Dynamic Lighting Sky, and it allows you to quickly create a realistic outdoor lighting setup by going to the Create tab and creating a new sky, and then going to the World tab and choosing the new dynamic sky. Now you can adjust the parameters to change the colour of the sky, the clouds, the sun, and many other settings. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any requests for future videos, please comment below. Thanks for watching.